today I'm here in Liverpool to give you an exclusive behind the scenes of the Eurovision Song Contest. So come with me. The city is hosting on behalf of Ukraine who won last year. And although the main event is happening this weekend, there have been lots of other events in the run up to the competition. One of them was a big Eurovision party in London, which I was invited to go to and even got to perform at. Let's go have a look at what's going on. <laughs> This is where everyone is getting their hair done, all of the acts, there's an amazing team. They even did my hair. And then if we come over here, we can also see the green room, where actually there are some pretty cool people in here, including Finland's representative. And let's see if we can watch any of the acts rehearsing. Scott! Do you still get nervous when you perform? Uh, we always get nervous when there's a new crowd, you know, but it's always fun because of that. Backstage, I got the chance to meet acts from all over the world, but of course one of my bigger highlights was seeing the UK's entry, May Muller. I love May Muller so, so much and she's such an inspiration to me, so it was so cool to be able to sit down with her for a chat and find out how she's feeling about this year's competition. It's a big honour, I'm a little nervous, but I think that's fine. Understandable. We're working through it. Yeah. Like the key to just enjoying it as much as I can is just being prepared, so like every day it's like... Rehearsal, rehearsal, I mean, you know. Ah. You were the professional. Things got even more exciting as it got closer and closer to the Eurovision weekend itself. But before the acts came to rehearse, I got an exclusive tour of the arena. Here we can see up close the stage, which is very, very cool. It is massive and in junior Eurovision, it was just like a circle stage. But this one is like, apparently it's meant to be like a hug. It's like a circle with like a walkway, it's a bit like a runway. Around here's all the seats. Eurovision wouldn't be Eurovision without the amazing costumes. What would a day look like for you? We all start in the morning quite early with all our team. Uh, during that day, um, who we've got to do the fittings with, um, any fixes that the directors tell us that we've got to do. We have a costume workshop on site, so we've got really an amazing team working here. So we've got makers, we've got painters, we've got dressers. So now I'm stood right in front of what they like to call the green room. Um, this is where all of the acts, after they perform, they will come and sit here and they can watch the rest of the show. And they also have little TV screens so they can see when the voting comes in, you know, what place they are. So we've made it to the top of all of these stairs and now I'm going to show you around all of the commentary boxes. And it's where they'll have people from every country talking about the competition and explaining it for everyone at home. So we can see Lithuania's one and Portugal's one and you must have a pretty decent view from up here. The top and the back of the whole arena. So here we can see the UK's commentary room. This is for Radio 2, so I think this is where like Rylan and stuff's gonna be, which the fangirl. I also loved watching the dress rehearsal for the semi-final. I've had so much fun going behind the scenes at the Eurovision Song Contest and it's made me even more excited for the live final tomorrow. Thank you so much Newsround, see you next time. Mwah.